You know you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols however you were led. You know you worshipped whatever you worshipped before you met the Lord. Whatever you worshipped before, whether it was work, and we're talking about America here, so most folks worship work. They worship Sundays, but not the God of the Sunday. Most of them just worship being with family. You ever notice that? How many Christian families don't go to church, but they're always together on Sunday? They worship Sunday if they're not careful. They don't worship the king because the king says, go to church. He says, I mean, it's very clear what his idea of it is, but we worship Sundays. We worship family. We worship the only day off when I get to take a break and just hang out with the family. If people could just like see that gap and know that faith in the Lord would probably bring them another day over time. He might change their job and they might get Saturday too. Because I'm going to tell you, if you don't think God wants to give you time to worship and rest, and you don't understand the principle of Moses showing up before <laughs> the king of Egypt, you know what I'm saying, Pharaoh? Because what he said was, let my people go so they can worship. You're working them too hard. That's what he did. And God was serious about it. Let my people have a day. Oh, you don't want to do it? Oh, you will do it. <laughs> you will do it. My people will be able to worship me. I'll give them a whole week when they can be off to worship me. I'll give them weeks of feast days when they can worship me. And I'll make up what they lost to you. So please don't go down that road of thinking, God, oh, God wants me to work to death so I can, you know, I need to be there on Sunday. Night. No, you just, you're just not in, far enough into his plan yet. He, he has plans to work it out. But we've got to walk far enough down the road, amen, you know, in faith, right? 